Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. I, like I suspect many of you did as well, went a little bit overboard during the recent Sephora holiday savings event and I placed an order on the very last day, even after two prior online orders and three or four visits to a brick and mortar Sephora store, I felt the need to buy a little more. So I'm going to be showing you what I received in my most recent haul, and I have some fantastic, exciting news to share. I have partnered with Sephora to tell you all about the Beauty For All event that is here. It runs from today, December 3rd, until December 12th, and during the Beauty For All event, all beauty insiders can receive 20% off one purchase. It doesn't matter if you are a Rouge member, a VIB member, or an insider. If you are signed up for the Beauty Insider program, you can use the code GIFTEASY one time, either online or in store, and receive 20% off your purchase. I will have the link to sign up as a Beauty Insider down below in the description box. I will also have the promo code there that you can use, as well as the dates for the Beauty For All event. As I mentioned, this was an online order, but I have also made very good use of the buy online, pick up in store option. Lucky for me, I have several Sephoras within a pretty close vicinity, so I can check and see what stores have everything I want available, and then I just select that store, I pay online, I walk right in, I get my order. They also have curbside pickup, and of course you can have things just shipped like I did, or you can just shop in store. All right, let's get into this. By the way, all of the products are obviously available for purchase at Sephora. I will have everything linked down below in the description box to make your shopping easy. Let's start with what I repurchased, which is another can of this Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. And the reason why I repurchased this was because it's honestly one of the best dry shampoos I have ever tried. And having these hand-tied hair extensions now, it takes me a really, really long time to dry my hair. So I try to only do my full hair routine twice a week. And in between, I use dry shampoo. And this is honestly the best. All right, next up is this set from Milk Makeup. It is the Disco Days Hydro Grip Prime and Set Duo. This set contains a full size Hydro Grip Primer and a travel size Hydro Grip Setting Spray for $33. Now I love my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Spray. That has been my holy grail ever since it came out. But I have heard so many good things about this one from Milk Makeup. I always like to try new things, especially if they have really, really good reviews, so that I can compare them to the other products that I already use and love. And while I haven't used this that many times yet, I did try it yesterday and I was running some errands and I was filming and it really did a fantastic job of keeping my makeup in place. And then the Hydro Grip Primer, I feel like I did try this primer a couple of years ago, but I do not remember how I felt about it. I used it today, I used it yesterday, and my makeup went on flawlessly. It doesn't feel sticky. A lot of people say that it has a little bit of a grip to it, hence the name Hydro Grip. And I was a little bit concerned about that because I don't tend to like kind of sticky or gripping primers, but this one didn't feel like I thought it would. I didn't feel any uncomfortable stickiness. My makeup actually went on really nice and smoothly, so I will update you on both of these in a future video. This would honestly make a really great gift for anyone, but especially for those people in your life who may work really long hours, like 10, 12, 16 hour days. Okay, I purchased another Urban Decay Stay Naked foundation in the shade 50NN. This shade is dark. It is not my natural skin color. I have used Self Tanner, so I did use this today, but this does not match my usual skin tone. I wear this particular shade only when I've been self tanning. So please do not purchase the shade 50NN and expect it to be light because it is not. I do love this foundation formula. I think it is extremely underrated. I just for some reason have struggled to find my perfect shade match in this. So I do have to mix it with something else if I am lighter than I currently am, if I have not used a self tanner. Okay, I got three more Makeup by Mario products. I purchased the lip pencil in Hue the first time in one of my 
original Sephora orders. And then I was watching some other YouTubers hauls, and then I also watched a tutorial that Makeup by Mario did here on YouTube with Carly Bible, and he used his lip pencil in the shade Travis. And I was a little bit concerned that it was going to be too dark for me because it is described as, I think, a chocolate brown. But I'm wearing it right now and I love this combo. I also purchased the lipstick in the shade Erin. So that brings me to now owning four Makeup by Mario lipsticks. These are so nice. Mario was not lying when he said that he created this formula to make your lips look smoother. They truly do. I feel like my 48 year old lips look a little bit younger when I use this lipstick. The lip color is a little bit more mauve than I usually wear, but I thought it paired nicely with the eyes. I'm just gonna touch up my liner a little bit. I know some people do not like the look of a darker lip line, but I kinda do. And then I also purchased another one of the Makeup by Mario Soft Pop Powder Blushes. I already own Creamy Peach and Desert Rose. Desert Rose is what I have on right now, but I think I'm going to try out right now the Poppy Pink that I purchased. Woo! That is a bright pink blush, but that's exactly what I wanted. All right, let's try this out. I'm using a very light hand because these blushes are quite pigmented. Ooh. This is pretty. I love, love, love blush. I have a bit of a blush obsession. My regular viewers know this. Okay, what's next? Oh, the lashes. The lashes I have on are from the Sephora collection. The style is Amour, and I love these lashes. Not all lashes look good on hooded, downturned eyes, and these are beautiful. If you like the look of a cat eye lash. Some people with hooded eyes prefer the lashes that are longer in the center to open up their eyes more, but because my eyes turn down at the ends, I like to wear lashes that have that sort of flare, that short to long appearance, so that my eyes get a little bit more of a lifted look. These lashes are so comfortable, they're so easy to apply, I think they look great, and I'm definitely going to be buying another pair of these lashes. In my last Sephora haul, I showed the mini Forget the Filler lip gloss set from Lawless. It contains these three shades right here. The Forget the Filler gloss is a plumping, hydrating gloss, and I love all three. One is a clear shade, one is a baby pink shade, and then the shade Velvet has a little bit of a rosy tone to it, and I loved this one so much. I decided I wanted to go ahead and purchase the full size, so that is what I did. I'm gonna apply a little bit of the smaller one right now. I really love the shine that these have, and they do have a bit of a tingle to them. So if you don't like that tingly feeling, I would not recommend these, but if you do, and you like a shiny lip gloss, then I would recommend these Forget the Filler from Lawless. Okay, there's one more product in my box, and then I'm going to update you on another product from my first haul that I've been meaning to update you on. But first, this is the Caudalie Vinergetic C Detoxing Mask. It's actually called Instant Detox Mask, and this is another repurchase. I purchased my first one about two months ago, and then I went away for the weekend, maybe about a month ago, and I left it in the bathroom where I was staying. And that really bummed me out because I really did like how using this right before I would apply my makeup, like for a night out, it just made my skin look really, really good, extra good, I would say. My pores definitely looked more refined. My skin felt very soft. Because I have oily skin and large pores, I do like to use this mask about two times a week. And one of the great things about this mask is how you can sort of see it working. You apply a thin layer all over your face, and then as time passes, you can see it's sort of clearing up your pores and getting the um, toxins out of your pores. I just, I just like to see products working. All right, it's time for an update and a recommendation. Well, honestly, all of these could be considered recommendations for the upcoming Beauty For All event. 
Remember, you can only use the 20% off promo code one time. So make sure you add everything to your cart that you truly, truly want. Everything I've shown you today, I would definitely recommend. Everything from my previous recommendations video still stands, but I do want to follow up with you on this rose quartz palette from Huda Beauty. The main reason why I'm giving you all an update on this palette specifically is because I did mention in the other videos where I've used this palette and talked about this palette that I often have an allergic reaction to eyeshadows that have reddish tones in them, purpley tones in them, and everyone was asking me, well not everyone, a lot of people in the comments were asking me, Risa, did you end up having a reaction to the palette? And the answer is no, I had no reaction to the palette. I'm actually wearing it again today. Some of the pinks and the brown. And the more I've used this palette, the more I have loved it. And I definitely think this is something you should consider getting during the Beauty For All event. All right, that is it for this haul. Don't think that I won't be placing another order during this Beauty For All event. I am not going to let another opportunity for 20% off pass me by. So please let me know in the comments if there is a product from Sephora that you absolutely love that you think I need to add to my cart and I will probably do so. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. If you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and join the Risa Does Makeup family. I do try to upload new content at least two to three times per week. You can find more content from me over on Instagram and TikTok. The username is the same everywhere. It's all Risa Does Makeup. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.